Hey people, June 6th. Yeah, June 16th. I haven't been out here in, what, three weeks or a month? Um, nobody looks at the videos, so... It's not really worth coming out here and spending forever editing and posting all of this. But there's a lot of activity out here. I decided to come out here. I got a jogger coming up behind me, so I'm going to let her get past me in a minute. And then we'll continue. Let me get off the side of the road. I sound a little muffled. Talking through a mask. LA lockdown, LA shutdown, California shutdown, reopen America. Here she comes. We'll get her on uh, camera in a minute. We're gonna wait for her to pass by. Um, So when I was out here last time, we had a bu whole bunch of this foam and they were encasing the unit in foam. I don't know what's happened since then. There's a lot of uh, dirt moving going on around here. A lot of vehicles, that's why I decided to come out here. Wow, we got, uh, they're really leveling down the, uh, the dirt. And three of them at once and we got the fourth one over here. I don't know if they're the same thing. You can see how the Department of Airports really takes pride in keeping this area clean and nice. I believe they own this property. Three pieces of pipe, steel pipe, I think. So last time I was out here, this big building was encased in, in foam, or they were encasing it in foam. And they had just finished the uh, clarifier area. Somebody contacted me and told me they were gonna let me explain what was going on, but they never did. Uh, so, you know, that, that happens. somebody over here with their kid. So there's the bottom part. That's probably the area that was encased in foam. And I don't know what they put on around it. You'll get a better view. So it looks like they finished off the clarifier, completely encased in concrete. Um, somebody told me that this is really just a gravity, uh, a gravity type thing. The water goes in and drops down. Um, but it's really hard to get anybody with anybody to give info on, it, on what this really is and how it works. Probably uh, proprietary information. And so that's what's going on here with this area. They have definitely, okay, the, the hill up on the top, it looks like they've leveled it down a little bit, but not completely. Uh, they're widening the road over here to the right. You can see these trucks, right, these vehicles are able to get up there. They've definitely widened it out in the last month. Over here, they have lowered the peak a lot. We're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna shut off the camera because this person's got his, uh, his kid with him. Got a little air vent over here, so I'm assuming that they're going to fill dirt. I'm thinking that maybe they're going to fill dirt all the way up. I'm surprised there's an air vent over here, which means that I'm guessing they're going to have this area fenced off and not accessible to people. I don't know. And maybe uh, that base over there, the, the basin is going to be under dirt. I think this whole thing is supposed to be under dirt. They're going to be putting fields in here. Uh, maybe football, maybe soccer, maybe nothing right now because of the economy and the pandemic. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to go over turning this into a park when you're supposed to have social distancing. So a lot of uh, dirt moving going on. And camera's going to go off in a minute. Oh great, then I got somebody else with a kid over there. Let me just stay here for a minute. this water thing over here. This is huge. And somebody smoking. Okay. 
So, they were working on this the last time I stopped recording. They had some, uh, they had this pipe up there, these three black pipes. And I don't really know what the heck this thing is. I have no clue what this is. But they spent weeks working on this. These, these vehicles are fascinating how they twist and turn as they're doing their... I don't know what these are called, but they scoop up the dirt. I used to think that they were leveling the dirt, but they scoop up the dirt. What's going on over here? So we've got a whole bunch of stuff happening here. Um, so we get gravel, which means they're going to be putting more cement. That whole thing's probably going to be encased in concrete. Um, we've got this little mini, whatever this thing is. Dirt scooper, that's what I like to call them. Whoa, look at that, black, that kind of brownish sand. So that's concrete. That's going to happen. Some rocks. Three more uh, pieces of... Four more pieces. Oh, a lot of piping. A lot of piping. Maybe they haven't done the under the ground thing yet. I thought... No, they did. They had to. I just didn't see it. Look at this mess over here. So we're still on the uh, coronavirus, COVID-19. Not so much a shutdown. Everything's been opened up, but nobody's going out in this area. Certain areas you see a lot of traffic, but a lot of times I get on the freeway and nobody's out there. I should be able to get a green light here. I guess not. Oh, I got it. Nobody seems to be out here. Nobody seems to be driving. Look how fast this guy on the bike is going. Man, he's cooking. He is moving. So last time I was out here, again about a month ago, they had just finished off this building and they had some, I think they had some rebar hanging up from the top, but nothing really was going on that I could see. Uh, this big mound of dirt keeps getting uh, narrower and taller. Plastic pipe fittings. Remember over there they had that plastic pipe fitting that they connected into the uh, clarifier? Now yeah, that's the same type of plastic fitting. They were doing this little building over here to the left when I came out. I have no idea what that is. Um, so obviously this rebar, this is going to be above ground. I don't know if it's going to be a roof access type thing or... Uh, an area where they ventilate. I believe there are pumps under there because it's the pumping station. Look right down on the left. You can see those uh, three pieces of pipe that it focus. Three pieces of pipe. Obviously, can I connect to that somehow? Maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe they haven't done the underground. Hard to say. Nobody's talking to me. Nobody's letting me know what's happening. So the mound of dirt over here, way, way down. They've definitely opened this road up even wider. And uh, I don't know if it's break time or breakfast time or lunch time. I see absolutely nobody out here doing work on this part of it right now. I think I'm going to go back. Good. Ah, one person took their kid back. But uh, I'm going to get across the street. And finish off the video. I'm not going to shoot this in, uh, well, I'm shooting in 4K. I don't know if I'm going to post it in 4K. Because it's two and a half hours for a video that nobody watches. Nobody even leaves comments. The big thing on YouTube now is, uh, I don't know why they do it. I don't understand it. But I don't even think they're called spammers or they're not hackers. Uh, Maybe spammers, there's some reason, somebody will go on there and right after a video is posted, you get a message say a message that says, love it, or great video, great video, let's be friends. And they do this with every, oh, there's a person over there. They do this with all the videos. So I've read online, they are definitely, whatever they are, whether they're scammers or, or who knows if it's a bot, but that's the big thing now is going out there and it used to be first post a lot of people did the first post but now, now you've got these probably automated because all they're doing is they're finding the videos that are posted right away 
Great video. Love it. Love your video. Love your video. And they do this for one video after another. That's how you can tell that it's all a, a, a scammer. All right, I want to cross the street and run. A lot of activity here. Don't want to get run over. A lot of people out here that are driving crazy. Everybody's in a rush to go nowhere. They're in the rush to the pandemic. I don't like SUVs like that. I just think they're so ugly, what they do to the back of the vehicle. I don't, really like, I don't like SUVs. I don't understand why somebody goes out and buys a humongous box of a vehicle for one person to ride in it. And that's normally what's going on. I know they get good gas mileage compared to what they used to get, but maybe you need to put your bike in there. Maybe you gotta, maybe you'll live in there. Who knows? I got in an SUV once and I tried to park the thing and I went, no, not gonna do this. Right, somebody's masking up. They're gonna walk on the street to get away from me now. And that's good for me. So sorry I've got no info on what's happening right now. Um, I don't know if I missed the lunch truck. Maybe I did. Yeah, they're just sitting out there with their kid watching this stuff. I guess that's what you do when you're a parent. Try to find a way to waste hours and hours entertaining them. A lot of activity here. Everybody goes and gets a scooper. Got a water truck coming in here. Uh, boy. Yeah, they're not going to leave. So I'm going to get out of here in a minute. See, as the vehicle moves, it does that rotating thing. I believe it's scooping up dirt and putting it into the back. I don't know where they're unloading though, so that's what I'm going to watch right now. And then I'm going to end the video. Thanks for watching. If you like this stuff, nobody does it, but I'll say it anyways. Do a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment, leave a comment. If you want to support me, which nobody does, ask for my PayPal info. You shop on Amazon. What are they going to do here? You shop on Amazon. There's an affiliate link in the video description. So if you shop, just click on the link. It will take you over to Amazon and then just put in your order as you normally were going to do. And I'll get a few cents for doing that, or for you doing that. Yeah. It looks like he's scooping from the bottom. And the thing's completely full now. Where is he going to go? And that's the way I can survive on this channel doing all this stuff. Is he going down to the bottom now? Yeah, this guy's going to stay here. So, let me get this one and then we'll go to the other side of the hill. See where they're going. He's all filled up. That's some serious horsepower in that. Okay, we're back on. Let's see what's going on here. Where are they taking that dirt? That's what I want to know. Where is that dirt going? I wonder if they're filling up the area around the basin. I don't, I can't see. Maybe, go, maybe I'll go to the other side of the fence. I'm wondering if they're filling it up down here around the basin. But you would think they would keep that area clear so they can get around everything until they shut it down. I don't know if this black covered material, I believe that was foam that I told you they were putting in there or on there. They put white foam and then they Looks like they covered it with some type of material. Let's go see on the other side of the fence what, what, what's going on here. What is happening? Um, okay, so we got these two guys. Are they going to go down this hill? Can I get a, a look at the work they're doing over there? Look how deep that. Uh, look how steep that. Yeah, they're driving up that incline. They're driving down it. Okay, so they went. They're going to the bottom. Now they, they come up this hill. They go up. Let's see where he scoops his dirt. Scooping the dirt. Let's go around and see where they're dropping it. 
Maybe that isn't pipe. I don't know what's underneath there. Yeah, that is pipe. It's pipe covered in black material. Um, area of there. There's the foam over there. There's that SUV, there's that idiot that gets out here and plays his instrument. I don't think I'm going to get a view of what's going on. Too far away. If I had a drone, which I've been offered drones so that I can test them out. but And they're worth some money, but I really don't want to test something out that I don't want to do. And you really can't fly a drone next to an airport, from what I understand. And I don't want the liability, and I don't want people coming over asking what I'm doing. Bad enough having a camera, and they want to know what you're doing. So I really can't see anything over here. I think that's it, people. A lot of heavy equipment here, a lot of rental equipment. The forklifts that they were using when they were on top of this uh, basin. One, two, what do we have? Four lifts, four different kinds of lifts. Or two different kinds. Yeah, that's gonna be it. I probably won't be out here for another couple of weeks or a month, I don't know. I got a lot of major stuff going on in my life coming up. It's either gonna be very good and positive news or it's gonna be very negative and scary and uh, bad news, so. Uh, plus I'm dealing with uh, taking care of a lot of stuff, so. I doubt if I'll be out here for a while. But hopefully you enjoyed the video of the update. See ya.